Welcome to Rocket Billy Rumbles, the interview, and we're in front of the Handlebar Barbershop today in Thousand Oaks, and we've got George and Dixie. So, George, tell us your full name. My name is George Tantardini, and this is my wife. And I'm Dixie Tantardini, or Dixie Rebel, that's my pinup name. Dixie is the wife of George. So, George, this is a fantastic automobile, and uh, I understand you've done most of the work on it, including uh, chopping. You chop the I top. Chop on Tell it, us yeah. everything about it that you can. Oh, um, well, there's a lot to talk about. It's a 53 GMC. It's uh, chopped seven inches, French shaved. The bed's actually been shortened uh, two inches, and it's all been filled in. The fenders are moved up and back. Um, I did all the paint on it. There's list goes on. Did you do any work on this, Dixie? Um, well, I model in front of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I give him criticism. Oh, you when helped me with the paint. I did. I helped him with the paint. I helped tape off some stuff. Uh, tell us, tell us about the motor, George. It's a 355, which is odd. I mean, everybody says 350, but you bored it out a little bit. Tell us about the process. Yeah, it's a, it's a 350. Uh, it's bored out 30 over, so that's what brings out the 355. Uh, has a nice size cam in it, and everyone says that sound shouldn't be coming from that truck. Yeah. It's pushing about 400, four and a quarter horsepower. It's enough to get you around. Do you worry about the gas mileage? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I'm not too worried about the gas mileage. <laughs> it's not what it's built for. Hopefully, you don't have an odometer, so you don't really know your mileage. Oh no, the speedo doesn't even work, so I don't want to look at it and know how fast I'm going. So uh, tell me this, um, th that's a real head turner. So do people turn their heads and also try to run into you? With <laughs> yeah, it is a head turner uh, just coming up here. I had someone looking at the car like <laughs> all happy and smiling. And as she was looking at it, she was driving straight towards it. And I'm like, man, just go, get away from me. <laughs> but, it, can, it can be very scary on the freeway or anywhere where we're driving because it's like flies to the zapper. Like everyone wants to somehow come towards it well maybe you need to charge it with some kind of electrical force field to zap them actually when they get too close well, i do have the flamethrowers in the back so if they get a little yeah. too close in the back yeah. i'll hit those <laughs> excellent um now the interior is very nicely done tell us about that uh, the upholstery and so on uh the interior i laid down some wood to smooth out everything like on the firewall and stuff the seat was actually done by a homeless person believe it or not he was he did it in his rv and that's what I got. It was in there. You sure that wasn't his bed that he lent you? <laughs> it might have been. I don't know. It took him long enough to do it, but I got it. <laughs> uh, question. Does your hair fit under that chop? Barely. My hair barely fits in there. Yeah. I got to kind of like lean to the side <laughs> a little bit. Well, that, that's kind of cool to be lean. lean. Yeah. You know, it's, I guess it's cool. <laughs> he pulls his neck once in a while, yeah, so it's, I do that. you know, that kind of sucks. But other than that, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Excellent. Um, what else should I know about this car before we sign off? No um, one steal it. Yeah, it's a hard way to get it stolen. Um, it's airbagged. It's one of a kind. There ain't one like it, that's for sure. All oh, right, I, I asked I asked about, are you worried about it, get it getting stolen? And you said, no, there's no door handles. That's correct. There's no door handles. <laughs> so my wife, she can't even get in the car. We've been together for five years. I can't get into it. He has to open the door. He's such a gentleman. He has to open the door <laughs> every single time because <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Now, have you got it in any uh, hot rod magazines? It's been in quite a bit of them. It's been all over the world, it's actually. Been featured in yeah. And That's awesome. It's been yeah, on the cover so of a few magazines yeah. and yeah. Now, des describe the uh, the painting process to people who don't understand metal flake and things like that. Uh, metal flake is actually shards of aluminum dyed, and I actually did this whole paint job on this car, and even in the white has crushed glass. And that's how you get the like the pearl lesson effect on it. That's interesting because uh, my guitar player is here, and he had his guitar, and he says, "There's crushed glass in this paint." And I go, "No, there isn't." But then yep. he says, "Yes, there is." And then you've said, "Yes, there is. There's crushed glass." So what do you have? A base coat of, of yeah. You lay down the base coat, which is the blue first, and then I mix all the flake into the clear, and then I use the old siphon-fed gun, and that's how I lay it down. Does I have I've always wondered if the if the flakes and everything clog up the paint gun. Uh, not if you're using a big enough tip, it won't. I see. Yeah, you gotta use a one one five tip or bigger on it to get it to spray out nice. 
And on the flames, you you use the same template for either either side, just reverse no. the... I actually do it all by hand. That's pretty cool. I don't even measure everything. it. He yeah. tapes everything out by, by his hand and his fingers. Yeah. So There's no measuring. I just eyeball everything. That's it. It's beautiful. Thank don't you. you think? The beautiful truck. We want to ride in it. And, uh, well... Uh, tell us where you're from in case people are from that neck of the woods. They can take, a, they can get a look out on your truck. Uh, we're from Garden Grove, Orange County, California. You too, right? Yeah, I live again. with them. Okay. I, I, I should hope so. <laughs> we're married, so that would be weird if I didn't live yeah. with them. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Goodbye from Rockabilly Rumble.